Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And Apple's keynote ended a little over two hours ago. And I know you guys have been waiting for this video. So within those two hours, I did a little more research. I talked to a few people. So the Apple iPhone 8, 8 Plus, and 10 iPhone X will not support T-Mobile's Band 71. This what you're seeing on the screen is directly from Apple's website. So that was the first announcement that I wanted to make. The second one was it will not support Gigabit LTE from all the documents that I've looked at and some of my buddies looked at as well. It does have higher end modulation, but it caps out at 64 qualm, so it will not do 256 qualms. And it does not have the radios and antennas inside the phones to do 4x4 MIMO. So that's the second announcement that I wanted to make today. So, but there is one good thing. It will support band 66. So T-Mobile, AT&T, and Verizon that have, in certain markets, have band 66, AWS 3. They will be able to make use of this. In my market, I have, I think, band 66 on Verizon and T-Mobile. AT&T, I'm not quite sure. I will look into that. Another thing that I've noticed, so I haven't found this out yet I'm still waiting for confirmation but we don't know if uh, Sprint will support HPUE on the iPhone X or 8 or 8 plus I think it will just be the iPhone X that has HPUE if anything but one thing that I find interesting is that the iPhone X will also support two carrier aggregation on upload so from the source that I got it from it was listed as band 41 TD LTE to carry aggregation on upload so that's interesting to see also there is a MIMO technology included with Wi-Fi I'm gonna have to do some digging on that to figure out what that supports and what carriers make use of that technology so be looking forward to an updated video for this as I'm still trying to find some answers but the phone will not support band 71 and it won't have any gigabit LTE technology now I've seen a lot of you guys in the comment sections in the past few weeks saying that you, were, you weren't expecting Apple to have this on board, but for the price tag of $999 for the X, and that's a 64 gigabyte model, I think, and everyone is calling it the smartphone of the future, I think it should have these technologies on board. Now, don't get me wrong, the iPhone X is the most, I want to say, phone that has for Apple anyway that has the most technology that can compete with Android that's ever came out you know the 4 the 5 they pretty much were always sort of a year behind but this iPhone X has you know face ID which is really good it has wireless charging it also has fast wireless I mean fast charging as well so that those are some good features to have and it supports an OLED display so really good really good technology on this new iPhone but the modem is, is behind and I've already seen comments on a few people that are getting ready to switch to an Android phone that supports Gigabit LTE. So let me know in the comment section down below if this is a shocker to you or were you already expecting Apple not to support any Gigabit technologies. Also let me know if you're getting this device at the starting price of $9.99. I think they only have two variants which is 64 and 256. And I believe the 256 gigabit, gigabyte is about, I think, $1,200 before taxes. So definitely leave all your comments in the comment section down below. This is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.